Yo, good morning. Yes, I know that I'm fashionably five minutes late, but God darn it, this is a day the Lord made. This is a splendiferous occasion. I took an extra long shower because I'm old and I have a, a compulsion about smelling good when I'm on the air. <laughs> but welcome to the Wake Up Show with Big Mike, Wasted Talent. My brother, Big Mike, will be pulling up shortly you know what i'm saying over on his side is 7 30 for all my people on the east what it is what it is oh my gosh a splendiferous splendiferous okay we got over 100 in the room get wasted with your brother wasted tell a friend to tell a friend this is the biggest game in the last five years y'all the colts yes it is upon us it is definitely upon us everybody it is definitely upon us, man. Let me give my shout out to Salutations to everybody in the room. My guy, Martin, from way, way, way across the pond, Chip Chip Cheerio to my man Martin over in Great Britain, man. Shout out to him. He says, huge game coming. Huge. My guy, Walt, get off my long gang general. General manager Walt, I am in the house first, never last. My guy, man, Lou Molina's in the place. Get ready, nation. The Raiders are back, and we're not taking any prisoners. That's what the heck I'm talking about, man. My dog, Patrick B, is in the place. Isaiah Randolph is in the place. Terrell Italy. Commitment to excellence. Just win championships. I love it. My brother, Gorel Webster. Normally first, but he's never last. My brother's in the place, man. Blessed Sunday to you and yours, my bro. The artist, formerly known as James Smith. <laughs> I'm on my way to Lucas Oil Stadium in about an hour to see the horses. Get kicked in their mouth. Raiders. Yes, I got to save my voice. I've been yelling a lot, <laughs> My dog, man. MG's Raider. Supreme talent and Mike. Big Mike, man. That's what it is. My dog, Dave Zorn, in the place to be Jersey Zone. My brother, good morning, everyone. It's game day. Let's fucking go. Yes, the F-bomb just dropped in the first five minutes, but it's okay. <laughs> my God, Dan High Stake Teaser. Back to Smash Mouth Football. My God, freaking damn. Everybody's in the place. Isaiah Randolph, Crispin. Oh, my God. Listen, we got our first super of the day. My guy, old school, with the $5 holler. I'm ready for the physicality to begin. Pain, violencia. That is what we are. Be this is what we got to bring in the Lucas Oil Stadium. It is time to slam the jabronis on their face. It's the F I'm talking about. My guy AJ and Autumn, all these guys is in here. Shout out to my guy Kevin Harrington, man. Salute, salute, salute. My dog is in. I, I think my dude, Ty, my, Ty Davis is in the place. He got, I think I saw him. Ty Davis, man. Jersey's very own. That's a real one right there. Shout out to my brother Ty Davis, man. In the place, man. Stay focused. Is what's up? He's in the place, man. Yo, what's up? What's up, nation? Let's get this W. That's what the hell I'm talking about. My dog, Ty Davis, I told my boss I ain't doing shit after 1 p.m. He get the F off my lawn. And that's what the hell I'm talking about, Ty Davis. Man, I tell you what, it's a blessing being home today, bro. Because, look, man, we're going to get into the game. Big Mike will be in very, very soon, y'all. But, look, we we, we got to look into some of the information on this game, y'all. This the, the Colts are three, uh, three and a half point favorites. The Raiders are uh, road dogs by field goal. You know what I mean? So all my sick puppies out there with your gambling. Uh, look, man, I normally don't, you know, I, I try not to bet on the Raiders, man, because I, like I can't bet with my mind. I bet with my heart with the Raiders. So I normally try not to. But, I, yo, I, I just got a feeling, man, th this has been a special, special situation we got going on here, man. I believe in Antonio Pierce. I believe in his defense. I believe in his team. Yo, let's go get this F&W, man. 
and Uncle Rico is playing, and he's a turnover machine, y'all. But we are going to get into it, y'all. So look, man, let's get into the injury report. You know your brother Waste is going to share that with y'all. You know, the old man has got the plan for you. So hold on. Let me pull up the injury report right now as it currently constitutes. And we are going to get at it. We are going to get at it. All right. Injury report, ladies and gents. For the Colts, Cameron McGrone, linebacker, illness, questionable. I think Cameron McGrone is going to be playing today. DJ Montgomery, groin. Not going to be playing. Zach Moss for him. Out. Uh, Sanguin Olbein. Hip. Questionable. Michael Pittman will be playing this week. Jack Anderson will be playing. Braden Smith is out with a knee. He will be playing. That's big. Braden Smith is one of the very best tackles in football. The thing is, how um, how effective will he be? He's going to have a, 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 a heavy dose of Max Crosby. You know what I'm saying? Um, my guy, Amir Smith, is going to be playing. DeForest Buckner, the rest, you know DeForest Buckner is going to be playing. And Kenny Moore is going to be playing, bro. On our side, you know, Max Crosby will be playing. Um, Josh Jacobs is still doubtful. He's a game-time decision. Uh, Michael Mayer is out. Colton Miller should be playing this week. Uh, long snapper Jacob Bobenmeyer will be playing. Jermaine Illuminor, we don't know yet. Andre James will be playing. Malcolm Coombs will be playing. DJ Turner, we got to get his game time decision. And Greg Van Roten will be playing. So there you have it. The Josh Jacobs thing is big, guys. I'm going to be 100% real with you. I think today we're going to need some points. We're going to need a lot of points. And I'm going to be 100% real with you, man. This is this is an Aiden O'Connell and Devontae Adams special today, everybody. Devontae Adams is going to have to go in there and earn all of that money. Yo, we got over 200 in the room. Get wasted with your brother. Wasted, my guy. Oh, my God. Our Jizzle's in the place with the $5 holler, man. Appreciate you, bro. I'm a season ticket holder who lives in Indy, but I'm a Raiders fan. I've saved my Colts colored blur Raiders gear just for this game. Our Jizzle, shout out to you. Uh, I hope that you're in there repping the Raiders. You know what I'm saying? I understand people who do it as an investment. You know what I'm saying? They get tickets for an investment. I understand it. As long as you're in the house and you repping them Raiders, I'm with it, my brother. Shout out to my dog, man. Well, Zach Moss being out could be huge. Look, man, I mean, it's not like Jonathan Taylor isn't playing. I know Jonathan Taylor has not been great. He has not been great, yo. He's not been great. But, you know, you guys know how the Raiders are. It kind of seems like everybody, everybody gets healthy and well and plays up to their capabilities against the Raiders. One good thing is that the, nobody's been better at stopping the run since week 12, but but the Raiders. The Raiders have been excellent against the run since week 12. So that is a, a plus for us, and that's going to help us kind of get after Gardner Minshew, man. 83, wasted. What do you need to see from this offense today? What I need to see is I need to see a, a, a play-action passing. I need to see you know, uh, great down and distance situations for the passing game. I need to see Devontae Adams come out early and run crossing routes, catch the football, no drops. I need to see, you know, Aiden O'Connell have the time to go through his progression today. DeForest Buckner is going to be a load up front. That That's going to be something that we got to keep our eye on because we know when Andre James is in the house and you have a guy like DeForest Buckner on the other side, it's always an issue stopping a guy like DeForest Buckner with the Andre James, who is not the most powerful center in the world. And Dylan Parham being a young guy that he is, he struggles sometimes against elite, elite talent. So we, the, the thing I need to see is I need to see this offensive line hold up and keep them out of Aiden O'Connell's lap. If Aiden O'Connell's allowed to go through his progressions, I think we could deliver the ball downfield. And once we deliver the ball downfield and start throwing the ball deep, and you know that's a staple of the Raiders since Al Davis. But if we can throw the ball deep, and allow Gus Bradley and that because you know a lot of people talk about Gus Bradley they talk about that old fence post cover three Gus Bradley has not been running as much cover three as he normally does because they were getting their teeth kicked in and he had to kind of switch things up so Gus Bradley kind of went to more of a traditional Vic Fangio you know too high safety look and it's been paying dividends for that defense so don't expect to see as much cover three as you normally see with with the Gus Bradley you know everybody knows the way to beat a cover three is through the seams, you know what I mean, and the flats and stuff like that. You're not going to see as much of that. Mrs. Wasted Talent came and brought me coffee. Shout out to my wife. Love my wife. 
Appreciate you for bringing me my coffee, yo. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My guy, Eddie from the Bay. Good morning, Wasted. Let's go, Raiders, baby. Let's hope today is with things moving in the right direction. Yes, yes, man. This is the first day of the rest of our lives, yo. This is the game that sets the table for the future of the Raiders. I, yo, I, I really believe that when you talk about a Mark Davis, when you talk about, you know, whom, whomever, I, I'm looking for Antonio Pierce to make this situation as easy as possible. Make it as easy as possible. Just make the situation as easy as possible so where you don't have to make a big decision. Now, there's some articles that are, we'll get into that a little later. I don't want to get into it too, too bad because I'm going to be honest with you, bro. This is about the Colts game. That is how we're moving today. Oh, my God. Raider Rob, man, with the $99 banger, with the bang, like Mitch will say. Shout out to my guy, man, Raider Rob702, man. Thank you for supporting the channel and keeping the lights on here, Raider Nation Unlimited. My God, man. Thank you, my brother. The get this done, stop the run, smash that QB, pound the rock, use play action, and go down the damn field. Raider Rob, yo, listen, it's funny, bro. Like, when we break down football, bro, they try to bring all of this, like, uh, new football terminology they try to bring all of this new football philosophy well football is a very simple game yo dominate the person in front of you control the trenches control the line of scrimmage control the middle of the football field yo 11 on 11 individual battles win your individual battles be physical and smash people in the mouth and dominate your opponent if you do that, 95% of the time you win the game, man. Shout out to my brother, Raider Rob, man. Thank you for supporting the channel in a huge way, man. Appreciate you, my brother. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> Dan T says, salute, Mrs. Wasted. <laughs> my God, Chimney Bandit. Did Russell Wilson get traded? No, he did not. No. No, they can't. The trade, the trade deadline's over, bro. He ain't get traded. You tweaking. No, no, no. I shouldn't even have brought that up. My guy, Randall Burke. Wasted. What do you think of having AOC doing some short outs and screens early to set up the running game? Look, I've been looking for, for Aiden O'Connell to do that. The thing I worry about is who's he throwing it to. You know, I wanted to see that a few weeks ago, but we know that, you know, Hunter Renfro has a case of fumbleitis. Hunter, Hunter Renfro has not been holding on to the football. We don't have Michael Mayer, which is huge for us because Michael Mayer kind of in, in, in essence, represents our short passing game. He's been very, very effective catching the football and advancing the football in the middle of the field. You know what I'm saying? So, look, man. Hey. Hold on. Hey, y'all got to get my guy Big Mike on. Big Mike is in a place. I sent him the link. I don't know if you're watching, Big Mike. Pull on up. My guy, Big Mike, is in the place. Oh, what's up, big fella? Man, nice what's jacket. going on? Oh, yeah, nice, yeah. nice jacket, man. Man, it's never, it's never cold enough for me to wear it out here, bro. Well, I tell you what, that is definitely wasted to prove. That is, that is fire. I love it, Appreciate man. it. Appreciate I love it. Shout it, out man. to the chat, man. Shout out. Happy New Year. Let me be the first to say it. Yes, that's hey, right. Man. Happy New Year to everybody day. in the place. Game day. Yeah, man. So look, this is the thing, bro. So we we got to definitely get into the fact that, you know, this game is crucial. You know, that I, I don't really see a metric where we can make a playoff run without winning this game. Um, also, you know, I think this this is the game that we talk about. Antonio Pierce, in essence, won the job last week. But Mark, Mark Davis and the Raider Brass might not feel like that. Yeah. I think, you know, um, the, the closest distance between two points is a straight line. No. Straight line to that job is making the playoffs. No doubt. Brother, let me ask you a question, man. What do you see in this game that you need to see for the Raiders to go out there and dominate and win this game, brother? Well, we got we to gotta continue what we're doing on defense. We got to stop that offense. 
particularly that running game. Now, Jonathan Taylor is is no joke, man. That's one guy that we can't forget about. Um, he's been injured this season, but when he gets going, he gets going, and nobody in the league can stop him. Now, he's been he's been injured this year, and he's been you know he was injured a little bit towards the end of the season last year, so people kind of forgot about him just a little bit throughout the league. Remember, he was in Josh Jacobs' position uh, early this season. Yeah. You know, he was the he was the the, the running back. Uh, he was the running yards king at that time. Yep. So we got to remember this dude still has five star ability to, to take over a game. We can't sell him short. So and that's our weakness of our defense right now is trying to stop the run. We haven't well, been able to stop the run very well against elite running backs. So that's true. I mean, even though the Raiders are, um, I think we're number one in the league at stopping the run since week 12. Yeah, so we we, we got to keep it going. But I remember there was a time, you know, early on in the season, middle of the season. Now, you, you know, it's a tale of two seasons with the Raiders. You, you got you got when they were, you know, kind of struggling, trying to stop the run on defense earlier in the season. And now you got what we're looking at, you know, now. But we can't regress from that and go back to what we were, you know, at the beginning of the season in terms of stopping the run. We got to continue, uh, the, you know, stifling that 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 run game and forcing Gardner Minshew to throw the ball down the field. That's, that's, that's definitely a fact. Now, shout out to my brother, Intel, in a place. Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Intel's in a place. That means it's going to be a great, great, great effing day in, in, in here, man. Shout, yeah, out big Mike. shout out to Intel, man. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. You're absolutely right. Now, see, this is the thing for me, right? I think we've been very, very, very relying on the defense. And it's all good to be relying on the defense. But I, I don't think that with a game like today with two teams that are, that are evenly matched, a, a, a physical football team, you know, the Colts are a physical offensive line. They have some of the best offensive linemen in football. That's this right. is going to be a tall order. We're not going to just come in here and kick their teeth in. Right. You know, like, look, yo, you got Quentin Nelson over there. Quentin Nelson, to me, in my estimation, he's the best guard I've seen in the National Football League in the last 10 or 15 years. No doubt. He is yeah. a phenomenal guard phenomenal guard their center very good pro bowl level center their tackles are good they have a great great offensive line up front man so this is going to be a, a a tall task and we're going to need for the raiders to put up probably 21 points because that is the litmus test for us we have kept teams like we we've kept the last how, how many how many mike do you got those numbers man how many of the last few teams have we kept under 21 points we, oh man, it's we haven't it's allowed. Been, it's 21. been a while since somebody hung twenty one on. It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Say before the bye week, it's been it's been a long time. So since the Chiefs game, actually thirty one points. Yeah, we put thirty one, so, and we haven't put a, we haven't allowed twenty one since. So, but yeah, see, th this is the thing, man. We have to get that short passing game going, like my man Randall Burke was saying. He goes, other advantages of some short passes early to mix it up, get AOC AOC in the rhythm. And um, take them by surprise. Always. See the thing about the 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 short passing game, what I think that kind of hasn't taken off, is the reason. <laughs> I mean, one was Zamir White. I get a little I get a little afraid with Zamir White catching the football because I haven't seen enough of him doing that. Right? I haven't seen enough of a sample size of Zamir White. He has surprised us. You know, I I was a guy that was killing Zamir White. I owe him a, a, a an apology, bro. Yeah, an apology, bro. You know same. what I'm saying? Two, you know. Hunter Renfro is a guy who's always been a, a short yardage monster, but Hunter Renfro has kind of shown that he hasn't been able to really hold on to the football. This yeah. has been a huge, huge problem for Hunter Renfro, and it concerns me when he has the football in his hand. Does, like if, yeah. if, we, if we if we get good Hunter Renfro today, I think Hunter Renfro could be a major, major key to us breaking this game open. I really do. Because once you yeah. get the good Hunter Renfro, then all that underneath stuff opens up because we don't have Michael Mayer. Michael Mayer has been a yak monster when he gets the football. Michael Mayer not being in this game is a big, big loss. Now, Austin Hooper has always been a starting level to almost Pro Bowl level tight end. Yeah. But for whatever reason in this offense, we haven't seen that Austin Hooper. We're going to need this to be an Austin Hooper special as well today, man. Big Mike, what say you, my brother? Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, Austin Hooper, we haven't seen much of him this season. He needs to step up. Um, as far as Hunter Renfro goes, yeah, we we got we got to see more from him, and he is going to be the X factor. I think, you know, we have the usual suspects that are going to be uh, uh, productive in this game, and 
we already know that we can account for that. But what we can account is for Hunter Renfro to show up. We haven't had that accountability from Hunter Renfro to show up in a, about a year and a half, maybe even two seasons. So, you know, if we get him to show up, we we can we can blow this game out of the water. And uh, shout out to David Zahn. Uh, we we gave up twenty one against the, uh, the the Chargers, but that was in garbage time, so I kind of don't count that. But yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, but nah, dog, that don't, that don't count. We talking yeah. on that, man. Right, yo, so look, man. So <laughs> look, we we sitting up here. We we look at it on the defensive end of the football. Keys to the game, Big Mike. I, I'll let you go first, man, if you want to. Yep. So uh, I'm gonna start on offense. Keys of the game. Um, you know, we got, we got to win the time of possession, keep the ball on the field, uh, wear out that defense. Now this is one of the lesser defenses that we faced in weeks. Um, if you don't count the charges, right. The, the chiefs have an elite defense, the Vikings elite defense. Um, you know, we, we've been facing defenses that are, are, are very formidable as far in the league and, and, and the Colts aren't that, you know, we can, they can be had in the interior of that defense. Um, in, as far as the running game goes, this it's a it's a, uh, it's a uh, what's what's the guy's name? Our defensive coordinator uh, that oh, was Patrick a, Graham. No, not Patrick Graham. Uh, the one that was before this. Um, oh, 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 you talking about Bradley. Gus Bradley? Gus yeah, Bradley. Gus, yes. it's, a, it's a Gus Bradley defense. We know what it's about. It's a cover three. He likes to cover three. He gives up the middle, um, and we can take advantage of that, uh, particularly in the running game. So establish the run game. Establish the time of possession. That's one of them for me. Defensively, get after the quarterback. Now, I said this on the last show, uh, on my show a couple of days ago, that Gardner Minshew will gift wrap you uh, a turnover every once in a while, at least once a game. So if we can get him in uh, in position without him, you know, the natural of him giving up one turnover in a game and put him in a position to give up multiple turnovers in a game, um, and 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 stopping him, sacking him, and giving short fields to the offense, that that's a, a, a perfect scenario for us to win this game. Get Gardner Minshew uncomfortable, and 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 force him to throw the ball downfield, and, and force the interceptions. Hopefully, in strip sacks as well. So that that's the keys of the game on both ends for me. Now, see the cover three caveat, Big Mike. I got to push back on you now. See, this is the thing about Gus Bradley. Gus Bradley has kind of. Um, He's kind of scaled back a lot of those cover three looks since they, I think, I think since the Titans loss, he's really kind of gone to more of a, like more that, that Vic Fangio cover two. Okay. So, you know, and, and, and to be real with you, the way this defense is built, it's probably built better for the cover two. Gus Bradley saw that he had to make changes or he was going to lose his job. So I don't think we're going to see as much cover three as we normally do. It's an outdated defense. It really doesn't work unless you have elite, elite talent all through the secondary. Elite yeah. talent, like like how he did with the Seahawks. You know, the Seahawks had elite talent up front and in the back end of the defense. They had elite talent every. I mean, you got Hall of Fame guys. Yeah. You got Bobby Wagner and Lamba. I mean, we we, yeah. we could just go to who's who, right? Even up front with Clint Averill and all of those guys, and and um, God damn it, uh, um, Bennett and all of them guys up front. Not Hall of Fame guys, but Pro Bowl level guys, right? Yeah. Then in the back end, Earl Thomas was on a Hall of Fame trajectory. Um. I would say Sherman's definitely going to the Hall of Fame. Cam, yeah. you know, Cam Chancellor, Pro Bowl level talent. So you had, you know, talent everywhere in that team, man. And I, I just, I just believe that it's a concept that doesn't work if you don't have that much talent. Now the Colts do have a lot of talent in that defense. Yeah. I think them losing Shaquille Leonard and him not playing up to the back of his stat line has been a really, really, really big, um, big issue that they've been having to try to figure out with the Colts this year. But if you, I don't think, don't expect to see as much cover three as as, as we would think. Yeah, uh, you know, and, and you're right. And what what I would expect is them not respecting the pass. So what you are going to see is that safety moving up in the box. You're going to see eight in the box, and they're going to mask the cover three look. And then you know, right before the snap, they'll they'll have Aiden O'Connell kind of rattled and and go back into that cover two. So I could see a cover three look initially. And go into that cover two with the two safeties uh being uh you know that that one safety in the box kind of uh backpedaling back and in, into a cover two look last second, given that 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 mask as a cover three. You know what I mean? That's a I fact. Can see, I can see that initially. If things change, of course, you know, they'll go back to the cover two, respect the pass. But 
if they if they if they don't respect the, the, the pass down the field, expect to see that that extra safety in the box. That's a fact. Hey, Big Mike, let me get to some of these supers, man. Shout out to my brother, Leo Torres, always supporting the channel, always keeping the lights on here over at Big Mike's channel and over here at Radio Nation Unlimited and all, all, all of the channels at Grav Channel and over there at Hammers, too, man. Shout out to my guy, Leo Torres. Happy New Year's Eve. Just got in. Jacob's out. Yeah, man. It is what it is, man. We don't want to see Josh running with a quad, a, a bad quad muscle. Um, I, I have to look at that. We're going to go on Twitter and find to see today's injury reports because he was a game time decision. It is all we, we are about two hours away from the game here on the East Coast, the one o'clock game. So, you know, look, if they didn't announce that Josh was playing last night, I didn't expect for him to. My brother, Raider, man, my guy, always keeping the lights on, man. <laughs> Big Mike jacket is fire. Pop your collar. It is fire. And my brother, Patrick B with the twenty dollar. Bang! <laughs> we are much better prepared as a team with AP running the show. The secondary should be ball hawks today. Now, see, this is one thing that I've been a little concerned about. We've lived and died with getting points on defense. Yeah, no doubt. We've lived and died with that. That trend, let's hope that that trend continues. But if that trend doesn't, we we have, this is a tough game. It's a tough game. This, yeah. this. If we don't get offensive points, I don't want to see what happened in Minnesota happen to us again. Not in Minnesota; yeah. it was at home. But the, the Minnesota game, man. We we need more production. Like my brother Intel said, we need production from Al Four. If not, we will boo this man. <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn, Intel, Al Intel coming with the smack early this morning, man. I, I'm That's gonna right. tell y'all something, man. You know what, Intel? I, I'm surprised that you brother. <laughs> Wow! I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is the angry mob? Are we gonna become an angry mob of Raider fans if AO4 doesn't cork it, cork it I, I, down the field and bro, throw some I, bombs today? Are we going I, after him, I, I, bro? I, I, it's 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 definitely a possibility. Like if we don't if we don't win this game, man, it, that's that's the playoffs. That's you know we're officially eliminated, and. If it lays on AO fours, you know, on, on his lap, then it's 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 we gotta give him the pitchforks, man, because the offense is gonna be the reason why we don't make the playoffs this year if we don't. That's a fact. That's a fact, my brother. My brother T Severe is in a place. This team is 28th against the run. Zeus should have another nice game. Now, see, look, matchups, it's like in boxing, T Severe. T Severe is a big boxing junkie, as as so am I, right? Styles make fights. The, the problem with what we're going to have to deal with is, is that DeForest Buckner is a game wrecker and the interior of our defense has not been great. And if you got a DeForest Buckner up front, that is something that this running game is going to have to deal with. Yep. We are definitely going to have to deal with this, man. Definitely, my brother. Yo, my guy, <laughs> Matthew Cupertino, St. Matthew Cupertino, says, bet on black, wave the flag, just win, baby. Shout sure. out to my guy, man. Yo, shout out. Yo, look, we, we got everybody in here pulling up in here. We got, yo, Sean Johnson is in a place to be, man. A Fox is in a place. When is the last time Renfro had a good game in 2021? He, I mean, since, two, since 2021, I read that wrong. Yeah, bro, pretty much. And this is the yeah. funny thing about Hunter Renfro, and this is the reason why, you know, your man Wasted said that it, it, Hunter Renfro, this is a Hunter Renfro special. This is a Hunter Renfro special. Hunter Renfro, historically in his career, kills the Colts. Yeah. Hunter Renfro kills the Colts. I, I'm, I'm going to get you guys some numbers, man. I'm going to get you guys some numbers, man. Hunter Renfro, and this is just me going off, you know, my, my wasted talent brain, man. Yeah. But I'm going to get some Hunter Renfro numbers against the Colts for you guys. Some tangible stuff, man. Some tangible stuff. Hunter Renfro has had, I remember the last time he played against the he had 12 catches for 134 yards. Yep. You know, Hunter Renfro has been a beast against the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, no doubt. And, and, and you know what? The one one play that sticks out was that, that game two years ago in Indianapolis. Carr steps up in the pocket. I think he avoids a, a, a tackler for the first time in his life and throws a ball downfield to Hunter Renfro for the game clinching, you know, catch. It, it, it should have been a touchdown, but he got it like they, they said he got tripped up and he, you know, he got tackled before he got in the end zone. But we ended up hitting the field goal to win that game. And it was because of Hunter Renfro's big catch at the end of that game. So, you know, that 
Hunter Renfro, this is a game that we he he would show up in this. You know, Colts is is kind of where he makes his money, and uh, you know, the the butter the the bread is buttered for that that for this game. So yeah, man. I mean, at this point, bro. At this point. Oh wait, we we got we got some pe- hammers and hammer. What are you doing, hammer? Man, what are you doing? Hammer, shout out, salute the hammer, man. Dropping the ten dollar holler on on both channels. I think, man, somewhat of a homecoming for Al Four today. Expecting a big game out of him. Let's get this W Raiders. Shout out to my guy, Hammer, man. Appreciate you, Hammer. Yes, sir. He yes, sent it to both. Hey, hammer, Hammer, you don't man, Hammer, hammer. listen, bro. I, hammer, I'm about to freaking cash out you your money back, man. What are you doing, Hammer? That's a fact. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Yo, my yo, my peoples, Arlene Howland. Offense needs to show up today, period. Yeah, it, that's the truth, bro. Listen, yeah. there ain't no two ways around it. We can sit up here and, you know, break this game down to the fine pace. But this game lays on the shoulders of the offense singularly. The defense has been showing up. It's time for them to make this little game. So, so basically, really to be honest with you, I'm looking for Devontae Adams. I, yeah. they, listen, Devontae Adams has done a lot of bitching. He's done a lot of moaning. He's done a lot of complaining. We, as as a fan base, have not really taken Devontae Adams to task. Nope. Listen, he's he had listen. He is Devontae Adams. We love him. He's a great player, but he's been dropping the football a lot. Now people are talking about the balls behind him, but let me tell you something. It's very rare you get a perfect pass in the National Football League. Yeah. It is very rare. So to be quite honest with you. I'm looking for – this is a Devontae Adams special, especially in those times where Gus Bradley runs that cover three look because that is the way you beat a cover three. The sidelines, the seams, that's how you beat it. That's a fact. So, I mean, Big Mike, what do you think, my brother? Yeah, we we definitely – you know, you, you brought up a good point, man. We haven't, we haven't given Devontae Adams that smoke that he's been deserving for the last couple of games. Now, I know that he's all about winning. He's the leader of this team, but – we haven't had a Devontae Adams style game in quite a while, man. Yeah, we, that's we right. We need a Devontae that. Adams special, baby. Yeah, we 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 haven't seen that, and we we need for him to show up. And part of that is that is on Aiden O'Connell. We, we gotta put we gotta put some you know we gotta put some blame on him, in a, you know to a certain degree. But we we need we need him to show up for this game. We need at least hundred yards. We need a touchdown. We, we we need we need a big game from Devontae Adams. Yes, he got to earn his money. I yep. hope Devontae Adams, and you know, listen, a lot of these players watch our shows, right? Yeah. I know this for a fact. And I hope Devontae Adams, I know you're probably not watching, yeah. but you but you might be. You might be watching. Yeah. Devontae Adams or anybody with the Raiders, this is the game that you need to earn your paycheck. This reminds me of the San Francisco game last year that we didn't win, the Jared Stidham game. Yeah. Devontae Adams went absolutely crazy and almost single-handedly won that game for us. Yeah, that's this true. is that kind of game. I'm going to need for Devontae Adams to go out there and be Devontae Adams today. Put that Superman cape on, my brother, because let me tell you something. If you don't, it makes this game infinitely harder to win. Yeah. When Devontae Adams is going, that opens everybody else up. It opens Jacoby Myers up. It opens Hunter Renfro up. It opens up <clears throat> the middle of the field because then he demands that bracket. He demands it. We're going to need for Tay to demand that bracket. He really, last week against the Chiefs, Sneed was doing a great job against Devontae Adams. He That's wasn't right. really able to separate. Yep. I know they had it ready, but they didn't really need to double Devontae last week. I need. I haven't seen an all-22. I'm just going off of watching the game. It's hard to for me to tell whether they bracketing them same, unless you same. see the whole field. You can't see anything. See, that's the thing people don't understand. If you don't watch all 22 film, a lot of people see we watch all 22 film. So then yeah. when we come and we give you guys our opinion about it, then we can tell you because you can see the whole field. You can't see the whole field. You can't say anything. Right. You can't say anything. But, yo, Big Mike, really quickly, let me address yeah. my brother T. Severe. Yeah. Um, Getting back and harkening back, we're going to go all the way back about five minutes ago. Wasted. Very true in terms of Buckner. But we ran power against KC and Chris Jones and got some combo blocks going, and that was very effective. Yes, yeah. he's a big Yes, yeah. he's a big And I'm hope, hopefully, hopefully we can get that going. Hopefully we can get that going. And uh, see, the thing about it is I'm a little concerned today because Jim Loom being hurt. Loom is a big, big loss for us, man. You know what I mean? Isaac Haran has been cut. You know what I mean? We brought in some other linemen. 
I don't know if we're going to go out there and we're going to use some of those kind of looks that we did with Latane Moody where we had him at fullback. We got Jakob Johnson back. But, yes, we, we are definitely going to have some combo. We got to have some combo blocks to be able to run power and run that ball up the middle of the field, and dominate the middle of the field. So hopefully that works. I, You know, listen, like the Forrest Buckner, I was about to say Brinston Buckner. I'm showing my age. The Forrest <laughs> Buckner, Chris Jones, uh, psh, freaking uh, Aaron Donald. There's a very small room of guys like that in the National yep. Football League. Cam Eric Hayward. Armstead. Yep. Yeah, Cam Hayward. It's a very, very small room of those guys. Those are guys that need to be dealt with. Yep. Need to be dealt with, bro. Yeah, I feel you. My guy, Patrick B., Zeus needs to keep doing what he's been doing. The O-line needs to dominate. That's a fact of it. Yeah. You know, I don't know if we're going to get a dominant game, but we need to get a coherent game out of our offensive line. They cannot be the reason why Zeus is not being able to get the ball going and why Aiden O'Connell is not able to cork the ball downfield. Now, see, this is the thing, man. Right off the rip, I want to see the Raiders in attack mode. Now, I know that, you know, we've been playing that, you know, take what the defense gives us, uh, down in distance, that kind of stuff. Yep. But, uh, yo, look, it's getting to the point where, yo, teams are, are, are looking at that. They're watching film. Every week they're watching film on us. Now, I know it's easy for me to say that, and people are going to be like, well, what about the Charger game? That Charger game got blown open because we were playing against a bad backup quarterback and we had very favorable down and distance situations a team that gave up too so it's kind of hard to gauge what was going on film wise you know you can't get a full game plan going based off of a team getting completely dominated and giving up it's hard to get a good look uh from you know from a defensive perspective from another team's perspective on what the raiders are going to bring to the table that's that's facts man that's a fact let me get back to some of these supers here my brother todd davis thank you for keeping the lights on the raider nation unlimited I see a pattern. Offense sucks. Then show out, suck, then show out. I think the offense will show out today. Hey. JJ, pick six again. Calling it. Raiders! My guy, Ty Davis. Yo, that, that with the haymaker, yo. With the hey, haymaker. Man. My guy, T. Severe, bringing the smack as always. This team is, a is top five in sacks and last in blitz percentage. They're adept at getting pressures with four, and that means a lot of guys in coverage. Yankee, a JMD special is effective in cover three. So let's do it. Let's do it, man. Shout let's out to my guy it. T Severe bringing the smack as usual, man. My guy, David Zorn. Trey Tucker should be able to eat early and often today, man. Shout out to my dog. Yo, I yo, is this a Trey Tucker special today? If, it, if it's not a if it's not a Renfro special, it has to be a Trey Tucker special. Because I, he, I, I, he, yeah. he's the new, he's the new. He's the new Renfro from a couple of years ago. He's not getting the volume and the, you know, but the 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 ability to 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 you know move the chains and break a game. Trey Tucker has that potential to do that. Yes, and, he definitely does. Yes, he definitely know, is lightning in the bottle, right? Yeah. So we need to we need to take we need to take advantage of that and find him often. Yo, my guy Raider Ray is in the place, man. Shout out to Raider Ray, man. Number one scoring defense this time of the year is crucial in the NFL. Defensive run game travels. The thing about the playoffs is, to me, AOC isn't keeping this offense consistent enough. Yeah, no, I, I and, you know, Ray to Ray, look, the, the thing about, you know, Aiden O'Connell, and this is the reason why I'm not really super tough on Aiden O'Connell, is <coughs> this isn't a guy that when we went into the season, we said, hey, like, with, like say, for instance, with CJ, with CJ Stroud, right? We went into, you know, that's they went into the season with the Texans knowing that he was going to be the guy. They drafted him high. They were going to give him the ball. They made a commitment to him. He got all the first team snaps, all the first team reps. The offense was kind of built around him. The playbook is built around him. The play callers are kind of like they 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 had a philosophy going into the season. The thing with Aiden O'Connell is we've had two people play before him. We have a whole nother coach a new playbook that they're trying to adapt and kind of form around Aiden O'Connell. And it's kind of hard for him to get his footing in that way because he's really in real time learning on the fly. He's a rookie in the true sense of the word. It's yeah. not like, you know, he had all a preseason to work this out, even though in preseason he did get reps, but he didn't get first team reps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I think, and look, I'm not taking a responsibility off of Aiden O'Connell's shoulders because he like at this point in the season, are you still a rookie? But if, if Aiden O'Connell was, say, for instance, if he had, like, 14 starts, I would take that kind of a, um, approach to it, right? Yeah. The, the thing is, 
I don't know how consistent or the lack of consistency based off of, you know, we haven't had the sample size that we need of Aiden O'Connor. Yeah. I, I, I think last week was a slobber knocker. It was the kind of game that was going to be a rough game anyway because the Chiefs have yeah. a much better defense than a lot of people would give them credit for. I think they have the fifth-ranked defense in football. I could be wrong. I got to go look. Don't don't kill me, guys, in the chat because I don't have the numbers up. But the Chiefs are a very, very talented football team. It was a learning experience for Aiden O'Connell. It was his yeah. second time seeing the Chiefs. And I think that the, the, the offense and the head coach – kind of purposefully took the ball out, the air out of the football last week so that Aiden wouldn't be the reason we lost that game. Once that game was close and we was getting scores on defense, they were trying to kind of nurse that win, and they took the air out of the football. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? He only had, what, like 10, 10 or 12 passing um, attempts in the second half, something like yeah, that. Mike, he, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, I think he was like 9 for 21 the whole game. He, he, yeah. he didn't complete a, a pass after the first quarter. So, you know, that, that goes to tell you, like, hey, we – Aiden O'Connell was given like kind of a reduced role in this game. 21 attempts. Usually you see about 30 attempts in a game from, from a quarterback uh, who's, who's given the green light. He got that, 21. That, that, that's a fact. So look, the, the thing, the thing I'm going to look for, I'm going to look for Bo and the offense to not play. I don't want them to get uncorked. I don't want them to start getting outside of themselves. I want them to yeah. kind of keep it balanced, but I, I, I'm going to look for this offense to be a little more aggressive. I'm going to look for a more aggressive play calling. Because that's yeah. the way you you got to go in there in the road and you got to be aggressive and try to put points up. And to put points up in the National Football League, you have to be aggressive. So I, I'm I'm looking I'm looking for that from this offense, man. Um, shout out to Raider Ray. Shout out to the over 500 people in the chat, man. Yo, you guys are wonderful early in the morning, man. man. Yo, my man. guy, hammer with the smack early in the morning. Per fantasy pros, Josh Jacobs is not expected to play. Yeah, I mean yes. doubtful, doubtful uh, status. I'm not expecting him either. So, you know, Zamir White show uh, per, you know, per the usual. So let's get it going. Yo, my guy, Kevin Harrington. And this is a good question. Wasted. Did we know what the weather's going to be like out in Indy today? No, we don't. I don't know if the Colts are going to open the roof or if they're going to keep the roof club. I, I think the Colts are going to keep because they have a retractable roof on Lucas Oil Stadium. I think yeah. they might be keeping the roof closed. We, we, we got to look into that. I am going to go online and, and see the weather report for Indianapolis. <coughs> yeah, I mean, if they open, if they open it, that could that that's going to play a factor for both teams. You know, as far as offense goes, both teams are kind of similar, and they want to get the run game going. Um, and and it's not going to really affect you in in terms of offense if if the you know the the, the dome is open or not. So we'll, we'll see. So today at 1 p.m. in Indianapolis, it's going to rain today. It is a 37-degree day, 40% precip, 91% humidity, uh, th three uh, three mile per hour winds. It's a very mild day, a little rainy day. I, I'm, you know, if it's raining, I'm, I'm probably guessing the Colts are going to keep the roof closed. Let's yep. let's go and see if the Colts will have the roof open today. You know, yeah. I, I I really don't know. I, I would Colts roof status. The roof will be open versus the Raiders. Oh. One day ago, the Indianapolis Colts said that Lucas Oil Stadium roof and the north end window. Oh, no, wait, wait, hold on. It, I messed up. It'll be closed. The Indianapolis Colts said that Lucas Oil Stadium and the roof and the north end window will be closed for Sunday's game against the Las Vegas Raiders with cloudy okay. skies and temperatures at 30 degrees. I'm sorry, guys. I read that wrong. I said, will the roof be open? I thought it said it will be open. I just missed the whole will part. <laughs> but So the roof will be closed. So the weather is, 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 of, is of no factor to us today, man. The weather is of no factor to us today, man. So that's a great thing. We are, we're a dome team. They're a dome team. That's what the F is up. My guy, Roy, we are transitioning from a system-style coaching philosophy, forcing players to conform into a player-based system that will focus – on that instead of a player's strengths and building upon that. And that's one of the big reasons why I'm, I'm I'm really big on Antonio Pierce getting his job and keeping his job. There's a lot of stuff out there saying that, you know, it's not a slam dunk that he gets the job. I kind of really didn't want to get into that because, to be honest with you, and I had a tweet today. I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter, but if you don't, please go on ahead, add Pod Wasted on Twitter or X or whatever they call it now, and on Instagram, Raider Nation Unlimited. Go give your brother a follow, trying to get those numbers up over there as well. The thing is, is this. You know, there are a lot of people that are talking about the offseason. They talk about who's going to be the quarterback next year. They're talking about who's going to be the coach and all this shit. And we're smack dab in the middle of a situation that we have not been in in years. Yeah. 
Now, listen, the Richie B year was an aberration. 2016 was an aberration. We don't get times like this this often. We're, we're, we're competitive, and we have a chance to make the playoffs this late in the season. And I, I want to really strictly focus squarely on that until this game is over. And, yeah. and, and, and win, lose, or draw, we can talk about it in the middle of the week. <clears throat> but with, on game day, I don't want to talk about next year. I really don't. It's all about this year for me, man. Yeah. And, you you know, it's it's the, the difference between this year and 2021 is that we got a defense. And whenever you have a defense, you're in any game. I even predict if we even get to the playoffs, we're winning a game. I really think that we can win a game because of that defense, because of the the the, the coaching style, the, the 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 style, the philosophy that the Raiders are bringing. It's a January type philosophy. So if they do get in the playoffs, you got to watch out for them. And this this is something that we haven't seen in quite a while, and it's something to be excited for. Yeah, man, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Look. I'm up in here and and I'm sitting here and, I, and I'm thinking to myself. I said, "Man, you know, look, man, this 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 opportunity that we have, man, it is it's just something that I just I just will never understand. People worried about stuff that we can't control at this point. Yeah. Like like, yo, enjoy the team. And I'm not trying to tell you guys how to fan out, but enjoy the team and, and enjoy the situation we're in. Enjoy the fact that we're able to see meaningful football in Week 17." Yeah. Please, please, because look, man, we don't get these chances a lot. And I hope going forward we get them every single year, but we're not there yet. Yeah. We're not there yet, man. I don't, I don't look, man. I don't I, listen. Man, the hell with all of that. Let's let's get this dub today. Now, big Mike, man, we had some smack, man. Now, what do we need to happen? W which website is that, man? What do we need to happen today, it. man? If if the like and guys, we're gonna operate off the prison that the Raiders take care of their business. Big Mike, do me a favor, man. Could you could you um shoot that to me on the phone, bro? We want to get off yeah, into some playoff scenarios. I want to give you guys your rooting guide into what we need to happen besides the Raiders winning. Also, let me get into some of these comments, man. Yo, you want me to I send it to you? I got it pulled up already. Oh, yeah, send it to me, bro. Can you do it? Do you got control yeah. of the chat? I don't know how this shit work. Do, do, let do me it, see. Man. Let me see. Do, do it. If you got it, just uh, do it, man. Let me see. Let me see. My guy, Mario. I believe the offense is going to light it up today. I believe AOC is coming through. He is just doing what he is told to do. What the Raiders need from him is to take charge of this offense like a vet. That's a fact, man. Shout out to you, man. My guy T. Severe. AO4 has had eight weeks of starts and a bye week. He came in as an older rookie already. Only four months younger than Lamar Jackson. So I expect a level of maturity from him that I don't see from 21-year-olds. Yo, my guy Big Mike Raider. Got it up. I I'm going to put it up, Mike. All right. I see it. Now, Big Mike Radar is controlling the situation over here. Now, we got to give us a rooting guy. Big Mike's got it pulled up. Let me pull this down so you guys can see. Shout out to T. Severe. T. Severe, that is a factoid. T. Severe all, also said, this mother effer got a whole family already. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, T. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, man. I am not mad at that, brother. Yo, my God, GA Patriot, man. Thank you, Wasted, for the last 16 months of content. Appreciate you, my brother, GA. Thank you for always supporting the channel, man. Yo, same here. Hey, salute to you, GA. Yeah, so we shoot. We so I, I guess we should talk about it, man. Like 15% chance, you know, is we, we gotta win out. Uh, should I get it started or you wanna you wanna go? No, get no, no. Go ahead, Big Mike. You got it, brother. All right, man. So warm it up there, Big Mike. Hey, 15% chance. It shows that we have a 13% chance to make a wild card, 85% uh, chance uh, to be just out, out of the playoffs. I mean, 85% chance to be out. Hosting a wild card game is a 1% chance. We need, you already got, you guys already know, we need to win out. Chiefs have to lose out. Uh, so let's put the Raiders to win both games. That puts us at a 69% chance to win both games. And that's just solely on us taking care of business. That's not nothing else. So look at today's games. The ones that so, are highlighted are the ones that matter. Go go ahead. Our bro. rooting guys, the, 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 the bungles. What happens if the bungles lose? So if the Bengals lose, it shows a 56% chance. It drops. But if the Chiefs win, we, we kind of want the Chiefs to lose for the sake of winning the AFC West. But if the Chiefs win, our chances go up a little bit higher than if the Bengals win. 
I just want to get to the dance. Works. I don't need to win the AFC West. I just want to get to yeah. the dance, man, for real. I agree. So say the Chiefs beat the Bengals, which I suspect they'll do. They'll win. That puts us up at a 70, 72% chance just off that game alone. Now, one of the biggest games that we really need to look at is the Titans versus the Texans today. That's one of the big games that we have to look at. If the Titans beat the Texans today, we're looking at an 81% chance off the jump for us to make the playoffs. And that's if the Titans and Chiefs win the day alone. So if we add other things, um, like listen, the, hey, let's add listen. I, I I want the whole smorgasbord of situations here, man. Let's, add let's some more it. stuff, big Mike. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, you know, Steelers and Seahawks, you know, that's a tough game for the Steelers. They got to go to Seattle. It's a tough environment. Uh say the Seahawks win that game. 80 uh 87, 86, 87 percent. Got this is a this is very doable. This is a very doable situation. Three games alone, if it falls into our we take care of business and it falls into place, we're looking at 87% chance going into week 18. Man, this is as doable as a Kardashian sister in an NBA locker room. It is beautiful out there. This is this is this is this is, this is as doable as Tiana Trump. <laughs> this, I mean, that's how doable this is. This is this is Kardashian sister NBA level doable. This is unbelievable, man. And yo, I gotta give my man Big Mike some credit. We gotta let that man. Oh yes, let that man cook, yes, Big sir. Mike. <laughs> Warm it up there, Big Mike. Man, <laughs> here's another one. I gotta throw this in here. I gotta throw it in here. It might make you guys a lot more happy. 87% is good. Say the Patriots upset the Bills today. Highly unlikely. Say that happens. We're looking at 94% chance to make the playoffs. Oh, so man. we're also going for the Patriots to beat the Bills today. Highly unlikely. But this is the scenario we're looking at. The Raiders can absolutely make the playoffs. If we have a few a few guys helping us out today. So if we got to take care of business at first. We got to take care of our own business first. That's what I'm right. most concerned about. And listen. Right. Brother, let me tell you something. Sunday is the day the Lord made, man, right? We got almost 600 in the room. This is the most splendiferous occasion as usual. I'm going to say something, man. I normally, look, bro, my brother Matthew Cupertino just took us to church, man. He said, Father Jesus, bless us with this W in the name of Jesus Christ Almighty. Amen. Now, listen, brother, I, I'm praying for a win. I don't think that the man up above is worried about what happens. He got bigger problems, but for he sure. Got big, he, got, he got bigger problems than that, but let's hope. Let's hope that we can get this W. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, man. <laughs> Yo, my God, Trent uh, Theory off. I, I, I hope I read that properly. Um, I was on the playoff scenario list last night. The Titans winning one of their last two games helps us out tremendously towards making the playoffs. So, guys, we have to be low-key rooting for the Tennessee Titans and the freaking Mayo Master himself, yo. The Mayo yeah. Master himself. You, you know, shout out to GA. I think he, I think he was the one that brought it up recent uh, just now. Is the game we're also looking at is Dolphins versus Ravens. Now, if the Dolphins win, then the Ravens still have something to play for next week. So we don't want the Ravens to let the Steelers win that game the, the following week if things don't fall into our you know everything doesn't fall into place because that Steelers and Ravens game is a big factor for us in Week 18. That's a fact. That is a fact, bro. Like, we, we definitely want the Ravens to have something to play for, brother. We definitely need to have something to play for. Yo, um, so I'm 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 gonna say something here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely gonna say something. Yo, it's time. It is time for me, man, to go on ahead and we gotta go and get some more scenarios out the way. Now, let's say for instance. We lose. Yep. And you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. Yo, we got over 600 in the room. Get wasted with your brother. Wasted. Yo, I'm getting ready for church. Going to miss the start, but I trust in the Lord. Everything is in God's hands, Jesus Christ. Yo, my guy, Mike Easy Blessed. Yo, we are bringing, we are bringing this, this, this show of heathens to freaking church today. I love it. Here we go. I love it. <laughs> Yo. Got a higher power in the building today. All right. <laughs> Yo, from Raiders, in the stoic words of Mr. Jack Jones, we're going to take this game. Colts, no idea what's heading their way. I love it, man. I love the swagger, yo. I love it, man. My guy Lawrence E., call me greedy, but
but I want us to win the AFC West. The Kansas City Chiefs have been on top long enough. Listen, brother, I'm a I, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I'm a strong believer in measuring twice and cutting once, right? <laughs> I don't want to listen. I don't want to measure once. And, I want two two scenarios here. Theoretically, would I like the Chiefs to lose out? Yeah. Is it? Come on, bro. This is the Kansas City Chiefs we talk about. It. So let's get to the dance. Let's get to the dance, bro. Let's Damn. get to the dance. I'm with it. I'm with it. Because if we get to the dance, bro, I believe we can beat anybody, man. I believe we can beat anybody. My guy, Lunatez Pell Moon. Good morning, Wasted Mike and the Raider Nation from your friendly neighborhood Cowboys fan. Go get that win today. And hey, y'all got gifted one last night, brother. Woo! Boom! <laughs> y'all got gifted one last night, brother. I was thinking about you, bro. I was man. like, man, I wonder. I, I know Loon is watching this. Bro, let me tell you something. The refs have been egregious this year, bro. Egregious. That was terrible, bro. Man. That was terrible, man. That was yeah. terrible. Yo, my guy Raider Ray said something about Cole Fotheringham. Shout out to Raider Ray, right? But Dominican Cole Raider. Fotheringham. Cole, Cole Fotheringham. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you think Cole Fotheringham might be a secret weapon? Remember he had a big game, was with eight in the preseason. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I'm Listen, if, if, if he does, great. But if I'm not going to sit up here and pontificate on some bullshit, I'm never going to sit up here and tell you, that Cole Fotheringham is going to be the guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that does you got to you got to take into account a little bit. I mean, you know, they were working together, team the third team reps and things like that. But that's a lot to ask for for Cole Fotheringham to come out and be a game breaker today's game. That's I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, man. My guy Gunsmoke. Hopefully they would chill after the fact check they just got from the Cowgirls. Man, look. Don't call, don't disrespect anybody. I because Loon's my guy. I don't want to disrespect him. But bro, the, yeah. the refs, the refs, man, have really, man, it, it makes you call into question what's going on in the NFL. And I don't like to be the the the, the guy who does that, but man, that was bad, bro. That was bad. So people need to lose their job over that. That's really, really bad, man. Yeah. My guy GA Patriot. If CJ comes back and steals that division from Jacksonville, we actually get the sixth seed, bro. Whew. Now, you know. Depends on who's going to be in that, that number three spot. Uh, I, I, I want to see the Dolphins. I want to rematch with the Dolphins, to be honest. And that might be a, a number two seed situation, two versus seven. If we do land in that three spot, we're going to be seeing the Chiefs again in Arrowhead. I would rather see the, the Dolphins again, to be honest with you. Man, it would be it would be sweet to go beat them again, though, man. Wouldn't oh, it? yeah. If we beat them it, 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 in the playoffs. It it, it 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 would be sweet, man. That'd yeah. be like that'll be, bro. I I I I don't I don't know, man. I think I might fucking spontaneously combust if we go yeah. there. And beat him <laughs> in there. Yeah, I'd be so fucking happy. I'd burst. Man, My guy, look this pal, boo, yo, getting back to the, the what was going on. Wasted. Still would have been a penalty because one of the lines wide receiver was off the ball, so it would have been an illegal formation anyway. Yeah, loon. I look. They confer with the rep. I don't know. Yo, have you been tripping out like? Offensive off sides, we've been getting a lot more at the last couple of weeks. It's kind of weird how yeah. that's happening. You know, it's I mean? kind of weird because they're called it's a lot. See, you know what's funny, bro? It's a lot of stuff that, like in the NBA, they could call it, but they don't. And then when they start calling it, everybody's like, well, what the hell are y'all doing? I've been saying this shit for years. These guys are off sides and they're allowing them to line up off sides. And now the competition committee has probably pushed back and said, yo, y'all gotta cut this out. Like, you know what I mean? It's like like how in the NBA, they just decide to call travel. Right. <laughs> you know, like they, they let guys travel for years. And then when they start calling, everybody gets crazy about it. Or they they really enforce your foot being on the line and stuff. Just things of that nature. You know what I'm That's saying? LeBron so I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe that. Oh, LeBron. Nah, bro. Bron, that that was bullshit. He made that three. Bro. Yeah, they, that's a fact. That's a fact. I, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. I think the referees, you, you know what bothers me about lebron james and 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 the way people there people and i don't want to this is a raider podcast but i just want to speak on this i don't like the way people are so hyperbolic on lebron james lebron james is one of the, the three or four best players to ever play this game is 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 he better than michael jordan no right but there's an argument to be made that he's better than anyone else and to be honest with you bro i believe that the league 
and the powers that be don't like LeBron James because the power that he's wielded, the way he's broken kind of that power structure for the owners. So he gets no love at the top of the league. He doesn't get those Jordan calls. Michael Jordan, you blew a kiss at Michael Jordan, they were blowing a whistle. Yes, Kobe right. Bryant, at the end of his career, they gave Kobe Bryant every call. That's they don't right. give that kid, they don't give him shit. And I think it's wrong, bro, because the league is going to rue the day when he leaves. Because I don't see the next guy coming, bro. The league has been very, very fortunate in the NBA where they went from they went from Magic and Bird. They went R Magic, Bird, then Isaiah Thomas real quick to, to Jordan. Yep. Then they had a little small low, and then they went into Shaq and Kobe. And then you had Kobe, and you had that greatness for all those years. And then they went right into LeBron. The yep. league has been very fortunate, bro. Very. Yep. I don't see that next guy. And he, nowhere you know, in the league right now. You know, not to not to get too tan off the uh, off the off the subject, but you know, after LeBron leaves, who's who's the next American star in an American league? That's what you really can start talking about. We don't we don't have the next up. We haven't seen it. We don't. We, there's there's nobody even in line right now. So is it, is, is it shotgun job Morant? It, 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 you know, it, like, who is it? Who is right. it like like Wemby and all these dudes? These dudes are from overseas, bro. Right, and we're getting the, 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 the Greek freaks from overseas. Yep. Yo, freaking um, Yoke is from overseas. Embiid yep. is from overseas. Freaking yep. um, um, Luca overseas. Yep. Yo, this, this shit turning to Euro basketball, bro. It really is. Where's, where's the next guy at, man? Where's the next guy? Let me get to some of these supers. Get back to some Raider shit. Larry DM with the five dollar holla. Jacobs is out two weeks. With an ill and an illness does not add up. What you mean? He he has a quad injury, bro. So that's yeah. why he's been out. It's not just an illness. It's it's a little bit of both. But the quad is more so of the issue. He's a running back. You need your quads, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's the story with Hooper? There's no story with Austin Hooper. Austin Hooper's out there. They just need yep. to feature him a little more, man. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yep. yeah, man. See, my my, my guy, um, my guy, Intel. We have meaningful football late in December, and that's all we need to focus on. That's shout out to you, man. We're also in a division race in late December. That feels good too. That feels great, man. That feels great, man. I can't feel sorry for the line. Oh, I, I didn't mean to bring this up. Loon, I'm gonna get back to this. We got to get into some Raider stuff, brother. You know how I go. I'm I'm, I'm gonna bring it back, man. My guy Hammer with the smack wasted. Jacobs is officially out. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. It is what it is, man. It is what it is till it ain't. We got to hope that Zeus can replicate some of the success he's been having, man. Yep. We we, we really do, man. Oh, I done, I done turned the damn chat into the NBA chat right now, yeah. man. It's crazy, man. We, <laughs> no, 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 man. <laughs> Yo, so look, we went over that. Big Mike, do we got any prop bets for all my sick puppies out there? Is anybody in their championship uh, for, for fantasy football? Have you guys got any fantasy football questions? Warm it up. We're ready to answer them. I'm in my my fa I'm in one fantasy league this year. It's my family league with my cousins and my brother and and you know what I mean. So that's the only league I was willing to participate in this league. I'm in a championship against my cousin man, uh man f you. I'm going to win this. I hope you're watching. Um, I want to say to my brother and my nephew, f both of you. Eat my dust. My cousin Andre, um, RoboCop, legend in Newark, New Jersey. My guy Robo, uh. Andre, I love the fact that I was able to <sighs> exercise those demons <laughs> and beat you last week, Dre. I'm styling and profiling, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. You know, yes, we, sir. So we pulling up some of the props, Big Mike. What we got, brother? Yeah, so we're looking at first. Let's look at the game. The Raiders are a plus four. We're an underdog once again. Punch in that plus four. Punch in the money line. It's a plus 164. Um, you know, 100 bucks wins you 164. It's so a little bit of uh, extra cheese with that one. But if we're looking at prop scores, uh, first touchdown score, um, I can see the Raiders coming out starting a little flat, to be honest with you. Uh, that was an emotional game last week. Coming to Indianapolis, is, is, there's no there's no animosity, you know, back in, you know, between the two teams. They have faced each other for the last few years, so they are familiar with each other. So you're going to have to get a little bit deeper in the playbook to get a score. Um, Jonathan Taylor is a plus 400 for a uh, first touchdown score. Uh, anytime score is a minus 150. Um, but if you really want to look deep down the line for, you know, un unsuspecting touchdown from either side, Devontae Adams is a plus 1000. Josh Downs is a plus 1400 for the Colts. 
So, um, you know, put a little bit of cheese on it. You get a good lunch, uh, you know, get some good lunch money for the week. So um, those are the ones that we're looking at. Um, if we look at uh, let's look at uh, let's look at hmm, let's see. Let's see receiving props. Right. Let's look at the receiving props. Um, Austin Hooper over 15.5. It's a minus 120. Uh, I'm locking that in. If you stack that with some other uh, prop bets, that's a good payday right there. Um, I, Austin Hooper over 15 and a half yards. Michael Mayer isn't playing. He can get that in the first drive, to be honest with you, one catch. So that's what I'm looking at. Uh, if you want to combine that with, uh, let's look at rushing props. Um, if you want to combine that with Zamir White going over 73 and a half, I wouldn't do it. Uh, but uh, Amir Abdullah going over 12 and a half, um, I would lock that in too, especially on third down situations. You know, you know how we get, you yeah. know, on a third and long situation, you know, he gets a draw play or at the end of the half, he gets a draw play, cheap yards, lock that in um, for a minus 120, combine those and, and, and get some good, uh, and get some uh, good lunch money for, for the week on that one. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking at for uh, prop bets for this week. All right. So big Mike with the smack to all you sick puppies out there. Get go out there, get, get your bets in. Shout out to my guy Frank Polari pulling up from all the way over in Sicily, over in Italy, from across the pond. Man, we, we this is an international show. That's why I call my show Raider Nation Unlimited. <laughs> Big Mike Raider, we are international here. We have international following. Man, it's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful thing, man. Frankie, yeah. Frankie Polari. All right, that's right. Ciao, <laughs> Baylor. My guy Frank Polari. Shout out to my guy. Um. Yo, my guy Crispin has a has a has a haymaker right here. Big Mike, let me ask you a question. Do we still got that generator? Or do we get rid of it? Uh, yep, I still got it pulled up. I'm, I'm gonna pull it down. You can pull it back up. Yo, Crispin had a, a great question, man. Is there a way where we win and still get eliminated? Yeah, there is. So let's 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 do it in real time. Uh oh, let's do it in real time. Uh oh, so. uh oh, the wet blanket, Crispin, ruining us. <laughs> the wet blanket. So, hey, this this is the reason why that we have to look at the game. So we went out. We have a 70% chance. There's a 30% chance we don't make it. So let's look at the games this week. Um, let's say the Panthers beat the Jaguars, right? That lowers our chance to uh, – that lowers our chance to 59%. You don't want the Panthers to beat the Jaguars. Uh, let's say the Bills beat the Patriots, which is highly likely. That lowers it to uh, – that actually puts it at 62%. Uh, Steelers beating the Seahawks really changes things a lot. That puts us at 46%. So we don't want the Steelers at all to win any games. We should have beat that. We should have beat them in the home opener. That might come back to bite us, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, and the Bengals beating the Chiefs. So that's for week uh, – that's for week 17. So if we scroll down to week 18 – Browns and Bengals. That's a that'd be a game that we have to look at next week if those scenarios happen. If the Bengals beat the Browns, we're looking at that lowers it big time, twenty three percent. That's 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 horrible. That's horrible. And then in that situation, we're rooting for the Chargers to beat the Chiefs. And if the Chiefs win, we're not making the playoffs, y'all. So that's the scenario where we don't make the playoffs. Write it down. If that's what you're into, that's what would have to happen if we don't make the playoffs. But uh, that's a lot to ask for, to be honest. Damn it. You know what, Crispin? I love you, brother. You always support the channel. But you're going to have to take this one, bro. Angry man. What you doing here? Man, set your ass down. Crispin, don't you ever ask that again, bro. What's wrong with you, Crispin? Crispin, what's wrong with you? Uh, I need a drink after that one. Damn. Damn it. Damn it, Crispin. <laughs> Man. My, my guy, Raider Laker TDs. <laughs> I appreciate the info, Big Mike. Yo, somebody said that they <laughs> somebody said that they, they got their silk shirt on in honor of Big Mike. <laughs> yeah. <that's tough>. Yeah. <laughs> my oh, shout yeah. out to my dog Crispin, bro. <laughs> he said, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an unceremoniously blocked. Yo, you know what's so funny about that, bro? 
whenever I say somebody's going to be unceremoniously blocked, I never blocked them. It's just a joke. You know what right. I'm saying? I, I can't I remember any time you ever actually like blocked somebody when you said that, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I don't block anybody with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to my guy. My guys. Man, wait. Happy Raider Man, my brother. Man, happy new year to you, Wasting a Big Mike. Haven't been able to tune in for a while. Always good shit you guys put out. We need that dub today. Go Raiders. Shout out to you. Shout out to Frank Polari for um subscribing to Big Mike Raiders channel today, man. We need more of y'all. Yo, we got 633 in the room. All 633 of y'all should be. Make sure that you subscribe to Big Mike Raider if you're not. And if you're not subscribed to me, then what are you waiting for? Right. Subscribe to the Beast of the East Race of Talent. What's going on, man? Hey, guys. I'm, um, I'm 38 away from 2K last time I checked, so we might be over the threshold, um, but if I'm not, man, go ahead and check it out, man. We're, we're on the road, road to 2K. <laughs> yo, yo, listen, before this live, y'all got to get Mike to 2K, man. It's, it's no reason why. We got over, we got almost 650 people in the room, yo. Come on, bro. Man, we we, we got to get big Mike. We got to run it up, yo. My guy, Ray, my guy Raider TDs, he goes, I'm going to try to get wasted to block me, LOL. Word is bond, right? That's it. <laughs> Blocked. Blocked. Tell a friend to tell a friend, yo. <laughs> yeah, I'm sub the support of Big Mike. Got you, brother. That's what I'm Appreciate talking it. about, man. Yo, all right, here we go. How many sacks from Coons and Mad Max? <laughs> well, Mad Max had a, had a goose egg last week. I say Mad yeah. Max gets two this week, bro. I got him for three. Mad Max? Whoa, three. Big Mike with the haymaker. Big Sir. Mike with the haymaker. God. Wow. Three sacks. So you got him going full. LT today, baby. Full yep. LT. Yep. Oh my gosh, everybody. Yo, my and to guy. Be honest Ray Ray. With you, to be honest with you, I'm wait, I'm waiting for Max Crosby to get uh get on the board as far as you know this whole defense has been scoring. Hey Max, it's your turn, bro. We we need it. We need it. That's right, that's right, yo. Yo, Big Mike, could you do me a favor? Put the link up yep. to your channel so they can go and get that subscribe yep. before we get off this air, man. Yo, Sean Donahue. Wasted. You un you should unceremoniously block anyone who doesn't go over there and subscribe to Big Mike right now. <laughs> that's a man, fact, that's yo. A, go over that's there. A damn fact. Yo, we gotta support our brother, man. We gotta support our brother, man. Yo, my guy Kevin Harrington. He said, "I'm going to subscribe to Big Mike Raiders page right after this live, guaranteed." Surge, new sub. Yo, that's what the f is going on, yo. I that's see Coons and Mad Max both getting two with a DT getting one, yo. Somebody said something crazy, yo. Wait, they said. Who's the thick six candidate for the day? I'm going <laughs> to be real with you. I think it is Adam High Stakes Butler. Adam Butler has been a godsend today, bro. He really has, man. He like Adam Butler. That that look. That's the one thing I can't hate on McDaniel's and in, in by bringing that guy in. Some of the guys that they brought in, Jacoby Myers and Butler, or some of them Patriots that they brought in have 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 really paid dividends for us, man. Yeah. My guy, yeah. income stack investing. We got a chance to sneak into the playoffs with an elite D. And that's what I said last time I snuck into the playoffs. <laughs> oh, bang, <Yeah>. zoom. <laughs> and arrested Josh Jacobs. Let's get another win today. Shout out to my guy, man. Yo, my dog Hammer's in the place, man. He put Big Mike Raider up. Uh, wait, yo, thank you, Hammer. Appreciate you, bro. They say Max needs three. They robbed him of at least one next, last week, man. Yo, Big Mike Raider, Um, his channel is in the chat, y'all. Y'all okay. go pull Appreciate on up. Hammer. Appreciate it, Hammer. Thank you, bro. Hey, man, as a Colts fan, I hope you were wrong about the sacks. Pause, John Davis, because our QBs is old and frail. Listen, I'm sorry, my brother. I'm going to have to push back on you. I'm, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this show, man. But, but, hold on. My phone is ringing right now. What's up, bro? I'm on the air. I'm going to call you right back. All right. Yeah. But, yo, we, shit is going to be Great. Wait, hold up. Somebody, yo, this is an old school Raider fan. My brother, Ooh. I'm going to bring out my Jeff Hostetler jersey today. Oh, sorry. Haas was the man. You remember Haas yeah. used to throw that shit deep to Tim, Tim Brown? Yeah. And... I used to love it, man. My man, yeah, Haas, good. man. Shout out to Jeff Hostetler, man. <laughs> my guy, Brian Child with the nine, nine, $19.99, the $20 holla. Appreciate you. Black Jack Jones should be wearing 21. That'd be cold. Bro, I mean, listen, like as Hammer would say, the pit bull puppy of meat got it already, man. Yeah. Jack Jones is cool. I, I want to see us bring new energy. I want to see us bring uh, new legends, 
We need some new legends in Raider Nation, bro. I don't want us to keep rinsing and repeating the same old stuff. I love the fact he's wearing number 18. I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. 18 looks cold, too. Yeah, I mean, even though he kind of threw me off because he looked like a quarterback playing defense. But still. Yeah, that's true. But that's the old... Yo, that, that's the old thing. Yo, GG, yes, Hammer and Graf will be live streaming after we get off. Hammer, what time are y'all going to start? Y'all, y'all starting at 12? Hammer, let me know, my brother. Let me know. But, yeah, Hammer and Graphic Raider will be live streaming the game as they always do. It will be a most splendiferous occasion. And then after the game, myself, Wasted Talent, will be going live. We going live. We doing this thing. Hammer. It's going live at 12.45 EST, 9.45 PST. You already know. We got almost 700 in the room. Get wasted with your brother wasted. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Pull on up after the game. We'll be having a live reaction show right after the freaking game, yo. My brother. Yo, and also T. Severe, a new addition to, um, to, to, to Planet Raiders. T. Severe wrote us sure. a piece that's going to be amended. We're going to post that. And he has another haymaker. We are going to get back on the Planet Raiders grind. The, the offseason, all offseason, we will be hitting Planet Raiders like crazy. Uh, Planet Raiders will become a staple in Raider Nation. Believe you me. Once I get, once, you know, you know, it's been a, it's been a very hectic year for me. But, and, and Mike as well. Uh, but, yo, listen, let me tell y'all something, man. It's going to be big time, man. And anybody who wants to participate, anybody as a Raider who likes writing, um, listen, inbox me. Let me tell you, we already got our brother T. Severe down with us. You know what I'm saying? We already got our brother Franklin Skinner. We just need a couple of more guys on the staff. And as we grow, you will grow. So do me a favor. If anybody wants to participate, my email is, let me put that in. You know what? I'm going to put it in the email. You guys going to have my email in real time. That's right, guys. You hear? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, y'all hear the type and everything, man. <laughs> he over here. Man, shut up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> making fun of me, man. He making fun. Stop making fun of me, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all see y'all got I'm up there hunting and pecking, yo. Man. Yo, my God, T Severe, we gotta uh contain mustache mania. Pull out the home cut walls for this dude. That's right. Got to get his greasy ass out of here, yo. Yeah. yeah now, nah, yo, you know, I'm I'm not normally a slow typer, bro. It's funny. My my um my work computer, the keyboard is a lot bigger. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I can't really the 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 the, the Mac keyboard is too little for me, man. I gotta have my glasses on. Yo, yo, you you looking like Mister Incredible in front of the, the computer and shit. I know, but. <laughs> 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 oh my god yo f y'all man yo jose gambino is in the place the great gambino is in the yes, place sir. man shout out to our guy man mario 213 bo hardigree needs to open up the playbook let lc audible and um if he has to bo hardigree needs an assistant with an off with offensive play calling experience it's like bro a lot of times man i think a lot of that is the head coach <laughs> telling them to keep it conservative they know the player. They know how much AOC can freaking uh, muster as far as at the line of scrimmage. I don't know if he's ready at the line of scrimmage. If he is, allow him to. We don't know that. We're not in the practice with him every day. I'm not going to sit up here and pontificate on some bullshit, but I'm going to be real with you. I like the fact that the one thing that he's not doing is turning the ball over. Yeah. So that if you win the turnover battle, you, 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 you increase your chances to win exponentially, and I want us to continue that trend today. I need us to open it up a little bit, but to be honest with you, I don't want it to be at the expense of us taking care of the football, man. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We we can't – I mean, that was the difference between earlier this season and now is we were giving up the ball at a historic rate. Shit, like now, now we're being a lot more protected with the ball, and you see it's equating to wins. That's a fact, man. My guy, Raider Nation. Good morning, Big Mike and – and wasted Raider Nation. Big Mike, man, do we got anything else? Hey, does anybody need any fantasy advice? Is anybody doing daily fantasy? Is anybody out there doing their fantasy stuff? I think Hammer's going to do a lot of that. You got to go over there to Hammer. I got to see. I haven't talked to Hammer in a few days. I got to see what's going on. If Hammer's doing his show, I'm going to get off the air. I'm going to allow Hammer to cook. I am making some lasagna today. Ooh. I do it every New Year's Eve. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? 
listen, listen, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some shout outs from my guy Frank, Frank Polari. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, We're gonna do the lasagna yeah. thing, brother. We're gonna yes, do the sir. lasagna thing. Listen, I listen, man. Let me tell you something. I grew up in Jersey. Oh, yeah, you already man. You already know. I'm just letting you know. It's serious. Yeah, my man Hammer live at 1245. He's not doing any fantasy stuff. Fantasy is kind of done. Parlays, bro. Parlays. Yo, Francisco, let me know, man. Ask Big Mike. This is the gambling guru right here. Dude, and you not want, you want, you want to look at some here. you want to look at some some games real quick? The, the, sure, the why not, bro? Let's let's go, let me, man. Let me let me pull that up real quick and then uh let me back out right here. All right, so I got it right here, bro. If you want to pull it up. That's right. Yo, wasted. Listen, man. That's why they don't call <laughs> me wasted talent for nothing, bro. They don't call me wasted. I can cook too. You know what? Yes, I'm going to post I'm going to post the the um a, a plate of the lasagna when I get done. Hell my yeah. kids are my my kids are waiting because my wife know my wife is a terrific cook. But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes dad has to come and show who taught her how to get that's busy a, in that's the kitchen. A damn fact. That's a damn fact. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know if you want to pull it up, man, the uh the, the Oh yeah, yeah, we got it. Yes, sir. Parlays, right. Big Mike. All right, so shoot, we'll we'll talk real quick about each game. We're not going to get too long winded, but Dolphins and Ravens plus three and a half. Dolphins are a fa uh, uh, underdog. I think the Dolphins are going to win that game. To be honest with you, I got Dolphins winning that one plus three and a half. They got to you know they got to win a tough game once they they beat the Cowboys in a tough game. I think they can do it against the Ravens. Uh, pick the Dolphins plus three and a half. Be safe. I wouldn't go money line on that Dolphins. For the win, I mean, for the uh, the the plus three and a half to cover that, um, that's the one I'm going with. Eagles and Cardinals, it's a minus twelve and a half. Whenever it's a double digit like that, bro, like it, it, it's hard for me to, to to pick the for for the Eagles to cover that. Like that's yeah, a lot that's, of that's points. A big cover, bro. That's a big cover. So, ah man, like it's against. It, my gut is telling me go for the Eagles twelve and a half, but I can't do it. I'm going uh, Cardinals plus 12 and a half. Keep it kind of close. Double digit game, eight, nine points. Um, and then the Commanders, 14 point underdogs. I'm cover. I'm, I'm saying 49ers going to take that one, cover that one. Um, 49ers minus 14 if you want to check that one out. Um, uh, Rams, Rams and Giants. I like the Rams to cover that win by more than the touchdown, minus six and a half. I got Rams to uh, cover that. Patriots and Bills, minus 14 and a half. These are some crazy games, man. My advice to you guys, if you guys are into the betting, stay away from the double-digit dogs. Don't even bet it, to be honest with you. Don't even don't even touch it. But if you do, uh, I'm going, I'm going, uh, I'm going to the actually the Patriots plus 14 and a half here. It's a division game. I think they'll keep it close. Bucks and Saints. I got Bucks pulling that one off, minus two and a half. Win by like a field goal or more. Um Texans and Titans. Um, <clears throat> we want the Titans to win, so go plus four on the Titans. Pick that one. Raiders and Colts, you already know how I feel about it. Plus three and a half Raiders. Jags and Panthers, we want the Jags to win that game. Minus three and a half, I think they'll pull it off. That's really low. That might be the lock of the week. Uh, combine that with the Raiders' victory and then Jaguars to cover that minus three and a half. Uh, put that down. Falcons and Bears. Falcons are uh, uh, an underdog against the, the the Bears. I like the Falcons here. They still got something to play for. Um, Seahawks at home against the Steelers. Seahawks minus four and a half. There you go, man. There's a, there's a lot more. Big um, Mike Raider. But that's, Big that's Mike Raider with the guruing. He's guruing all go. over the place right now. And I don't even know yeah. if that's a pause, but it possibly could be. Yo, my guy <laughs> Ty Davis with the 199 the $2 holler. Yo, I'm making lasagna tonight too. <laughs> my God, <laughs> Raider TDs, man. He goes uh, laugh my ass off. My type of show, Chef Wasted. <laughs> Y'all are never gonna get a Chef Wasted show on YouTube. Hey, <laughs> bro, and everything, bro. That'd be hilarious. Yo, that'd be hilarious, bro. And yo, my my man Ty Raider said, "Is it a Jersey thing?" It most definitely is a Jersey thing, my brother. <laughs> yo, Janet, wait, wait Jancia Willis. What's up, brother Wasted and Big Mike? It's amazing, Blue Raider. I broke my okay. phone using my roommate's phone to pay my bar tab and tap it with the fellas today. I appreciate the dedication. Thank you, amazing Blue. Appreciate you. Shout out to uh Miss Willis too. Tell her to subscribe as well to That's myself right. and Big Mike. We love Man. it. 
Yo, wait. Lawrence E. AP said in plenty of interviews he wants to get the ball to his stars on offense, Jacobs and Adams. But in my opinion, Bo has O'Connell forcing the ball at Adams too much. I think that that's a natural thing. You want to get the ball to the best player on the field. He's a young player. He probably looks at Devontae as kind of a freaking uh, a security blanket, but it's on Devontae Adams to maximize those opportunities and be forcing it to him. You got to catch the football once it touches your phalanges. It's not like he's overthrowing him and stuff like that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, my guy Joe Diaz with the $20 holler. Appreciate you, bro. Colts versus Raiders versus Colts bringing out 87 Casper jersey. Goes to the post, baby. Yeah. I even needed to say it. Just win, baby. Not goes to the post. <laughs> what do y'all know about that? That's before my time, but everybody knows about goes to the post. Right. The Holy yeah. Roller, all of those great Raider games, man. Let's recreate some of that stuff, man. My God, yeah. man. Shout out to you, Jose Diaz. Thank you for the for the support to the channel, yo. <laughs> My guy, Frank Polari, bravo wasted. Cook that lasagna. Lots of Sicilians in Jersey. You damn right. Yeah, damn right. right. My neighbor, my, my neighbor is from Sicily. He got, it's funny. My neighbor, one of my neighbors down the street, I just found out was a Raider fan, right? And it's funny because my neighbor down the street, shout out to Tom, is a subscriber. Oh, but you right. know, like nowadays we don't talk so we don't ever talk to our to our freaking neighbors, right? Yeah, so I was out yeah. walking, you know, trying to get my, you know, trying to get in shape, walking. And he pulls up. He goes, Wasted, what's up, bro? I didn't know you lived close. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he got the, the, the Italy flag out there. He got the Raider flag. Shout out to Tom, yo. Shout out to nice. Tom, yo. That's what's <laughs> yo, up. Yo, Joshua Anderson, why do we need Jacksonville to win over NFC Carolina team? Should we root for the NFC team or the AC? No, we broke it down, Joshua. We broke it down. Yeah, it, it, for for whatever reason, man, the the percentage lowers whenever the, the the Panthers beat the Jags. I can't give you a reason why for that. I think maybe because it strengthens our our our, uh, our strength of schedule against the division or against the conference. Probably something like that. I, I I don't know. We we need those teams that have played other guys that we've lost to to kind of win those games to strengthen our, our our case. Case I'm guessing. That's that's kind of my guess for that one. Yo, shout out to my guy Josh Man. Good question too, brother. Yo, Raider Pace with a two dollar holler. Slot corner Kenny Moore is out inactive today. More of a reason. That's for big it. for us. Yep. That's big for us. That see, this is a Hunter Renfro special once yep. again. Yep. It's a Hunter Renfro Devontae Adams special today. Look forward to go. Damn man, it, it yo the yo the engagement is just booming today, man. I mean, big man, Mike. I love it. With, my guy Darth Raider with the with the two dollar holla. Shout out to my guy Darth Raider. Shout out to Darth Raider and Darth Raider Prime with the most hilarious Instagram ever, bro. You, I know you, goddamn lying to me. <laughs> yeah, you ever see Darth Raider Prime? <laughs> I gotta check it out, bro. Yo, subscribe to him, bro. Yo, he, yo, bro. This Joker man be talking about them bad Tubi movies, bro. Yo, <laughs> my God, he said, I know you, goddamn lying to me. <laughs> oh man. hilarious bro my guy walt to get off my long general walt jamar chase said the chiefs don't have a Jalen ramsey i'm not worried lol Woo, that, yo he, he talking that smack and i'm gonna yo. be real with you man that kid jake brandon has not been playing bad he hasn't he, can he get hasn't it done. he can get it done i mean he's not joe burrow no, he's not joe he's burrow not. he's not yeah man and that is the sound of the men's working on the train I hit a oh, train. Oh, yeah, you got a train down the street, yeah. I got a train station down the street, too, bro. Look, man, I, I, hey, that's what happens when you live in, in an area where people got to go work in a big city, brother. We got trains. I love that sound, man. I love it, man. Look, I'm from the East Coast, bro. You know, I love the sound of the trains, man. Yes, big Mike hits on the parlays. I'll be back at 5K subscribers tonight. What, 5K subscribers tonight? Overnight. We all buying silk shirts. That's right. That's there right. Train. Get your silk shirt on a Big Mike, man. Yes, sir. Ten Commandments, too many 9 and 18s. That's why. That's a fact, yeah. bro. That's a yeah. fact. Jose Benavidez, where you been hiding? Let's go, Raiders. Shout out to y'all, <laughs> man. Up early getting us started. All love from Los Angeles, California. You know what? That's why. Oh, Yo, the morning the morning show is the greatest. It is the great. It, it is something that Raider Nation needs, man. I'm telling you, yes, man. Sir. Yes, Big sir. Smokey is in the place, yo. Yo, did Zamir Weiss earn Zeus status? I'll tell you what, if he has over 150 yards a day, he'll, he'll, I'm officially calling him Zeus from here on out. Sean yep. Donahue, we want the Jaguars to be in line for the division. They have a better tiebreaker scenarios over us, whereas the Texans, we have the tiebreakers over. We kind of went through this 
I don't remember it all. The, the main thing and the main key is just win, baby. The, all the other stuff going to take care of itself, man. Yep, all the other yep. stuff going to take care of itself. Man, Big Mike, what do you think, man? You you, you want to put a pin in this and get the moving, brother? Yeah, let's what get it, man. Bro? I got to make breakfast, too. So, yeah. Yeah, bro. that's true, man. Yo, y'all, shout out to everybody. We've been in an hour and a half deep, man. Love every single one of y'all. Go Raiders. I will be back for the post-game show. I don't know what Big Mike got going on. Big Mike, you got something going on? Yeah, we, we might get a post-game uh, cooking today. We'll, we'll get one cooking today. So he might get a post-game cooking. I got a post-game cooking. Yo, love all of y'all. Go pull up the graphic and hammers. Um, You know, I know y'all going to anyway. All 700 of y'all pull up because I know y'all going to be there. You know, they're yep. doing the live stream. There's, n there's never a live stream that is quite as great as when we do the live stream, y'all. Y'all have a terrific day. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope y'all have a healthy, happy, and prosperous year this year, man. Absolutely. Love every single one of y'all in the chat. Thank you for all y'all support. It's going to get greater later, man. It's going to be the best year ever on YouTube, man. And it's going to be one of the great years for the Raiders, man. Y'all have a terrific day. I will see y'all later. And y'all already know I got to do it. I'm sorry. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Price went through the roof. The stock went through the roof. The Raiders are going to get this dub. I will be back to celebrate later. I'm calling it, man. Love all of y'all. Peace.